Welcome back to Cool Vibe Podcast. Today, we have a reoccurring guest, Echo the Savage. What's up, everybody? Yes, sir. Let's see. First thing I wanted to ask you was your DMT experience. What was the, since you said you tried it multiple times, what was the one of the dopest times? Like it, so, the last time I did it, I actually didn't know that I was doing it. I was at a party on the beach. It was like some beach rave, like right downtown Portland. Um, it was pretty lit. It was an awesome little experience out there because it was just like DJs going on a bunch of people out there, just kind of like right on the river. And, you know, it's getting a little late, but all the fire ploy and all the lights are out. People are getting really festive with their shit. And there's somebody um, that was friends with my friend. Like, I met him in passing on right when I first got there to the party. And he was over across the fire, you know? And he was like, hey, you want to hit this? And he held up a weed pen like this. He's like, hey, you want to hit this, bro? And I was just like, oh, weed. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's the middle of the pandemic. I guess we're just hitting each other's weed pens, whatever. Cool. So, um, but I hit this. And I was like, this is weed. Whoa. And then all of a sudden, my whole shit just slowed down. I was like, whoa, (laughs) this is DMT. (laughs) He's like, yeah. I was like, oh, I didn't know. (laughs) It's just like everything became all not as intense as like my first DMT trip, Mm -hmm. but like high enough that I was high as fuck. But also, weirdly, I could kind of like, you know be conscious of where I was and what I was doing in a way. Like I, I, w- I didn't, I didn't blast off as they say, mm-hmm. you know, they say if you blast off, you blast off and you're not even fucking in this reality. That's true. It's very much in this reality. So it was interesting to me to do a lower dose, I guess, lower dose. because they say if you like smoke it, like, you know, like one out of one of those little crap crack mm-hmm. pipe things, you're just like fucking, you know, I heard there was like all the way ego death, like where like you just, didn't exist like I heard this from uh, Mike Tyson like he did DMT and like trip balls well I mean what? that's how it's happened in that's the past but this time it wasn't that it, it was like that? Um, I was walking on the beach really high so I felt like a Pac-Man ghost I was like floating around <laughs> just like fucking you know vibing mm. and there was this really pretty girl uh, uh, across the way so I was like I'm gonna go talk to her maybe she'll you know she's just standing by herself like mind her own business just kind of chilling you know, so I very highly waltzed up to her, and I'm just like, how's it going? So listen, I'm really high. I hit a weed pen, but it was actually DMT, and I didn't know that. So, you know, I'm really high right now. <laughs> and she's like, oh, my God, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I think, I think I'm all good. But, yeah, I just, you know, I feel like I needed to talk to somebody for mm. a second. So I, I hope it's not weird. And she's like, oh, my God, that's not weird. And I was like, yeah. It is for me, because <laughs> I'm high as fuck. <laughs> and now, I had a good conversation with a stranger. It didn't go anywhere, because as soon as we started, like, getting into, like, you know, talking and getting to know each other, some dude just fucking walks literally right next to us and just whips his penis out and starts pissing in the river, or, like, the, the, the water, like, right next to us, and we are just like, have a nice All day. Right. <laughs> That's my cue to get the That's fuck out of this situation crazy. randomly. So. Wow, dude. I don't know. It was a. Uh, it was definitely an unforgettable experience for sure. But I think the first time that I did DMT was definitely a lot more intense uh, and memorable mm. in the way that the fir- first thing is like we, I hit it on some weed uh, uh, on a bong out of a bong, you know, um, and had a little bit of tin foil with the weed and the DMT under the weed and the tin foil so that the ignition of the weed is what sets it off you know um and that way like it burns kind of i guess at a lower temperature we didn't know what the fuck we was doing but look that shit worked hella and that shit um was yo, yo intense off. um the first one was like yo that was crazy and then the second time i sat down on the couch and my friend's brother was watching ron white the comedian on tv do you know who ron white is uh i don't think so He's a comedian. He yeah, you can look him up. I'll show you. What you probably never heard of him. Ron White. Show me a picture of Ron White, the comedian. Is he an old white dude with like what? silver hair? This silver. Dude. Yeah. This guy. Oh, okay. You ever heard of this dude? 
I've seen him before, yeah. Well, whatever the fuck he was watching was coincidentally uh, Ron White expressing what it's like to be, be on. super high as fuck. And then I was internalizing what I was watching as I was peeking on DMT and I was like, Watching him just trip me the fuck out. Dude. Like, you're gonna get real high. And started the f- sweating his ass <laughs> off. I'm like watching this. Like, can you please change it, bro? Wow. Can you, hey, bro. Yeah. Just turn Holy this shit, shit off. I can't. And I'm all high as fuck, right? Mm. So I don't think I'm in the wrong here. He's enjoying his program in his living room. What am I? I'm high as yeah. fuck in his living room. Nobody asked. He, nobody asked me to do this. So I'm just like playing, sitting there, like, bro. For fuck's sake, dude, turn this shit off. And he was like, bro, I don't see what the problem is. This dude's melting on the TV. Can you change it, please? And wow, dude. no, like he didn't change it. And so I had to go into the other room and just fucking cope while being high as fuck. That was not a good experience. It was so, a bad trip for sure. No, no I mean for good, a second, but, but then like I, I came out of it and I was like, yeah. okay, shit's cool. So it was mm. bad for like a first five minutes, which is and it. Uh, one weird thing is my buddy Jordan went to a ayahuasca retreat. And it's Holy kind of the same shit. thing, but it lasts a lot longer than like, like a 10-minute experience. Three hours? Each? I think or it's like five or six hours. Five, damn. And he said, yeah, the first night we just did a little bit just to kind of like, you know, feel how it feels. If you want to tap out before the big kahuna, you can. But what happened was like the second night they, he did it and then – in an hour, they just started fucking heaving and, you know, like, throwing up and shitting, all this black shit. It's Ooh, called gosh. purging, and it's not a nice experience. I guess it's really your body is just releasing all these toxins, you know, physically and spiritually, I guess. <laughs> but whatever. I mean, you're Ooh. fucking... I yeah, mean, it's an intense ass thing, but don't knock it till you try it. Well, yeah, no. the more I talk about it, as crazy as that sounds, they say what happens next is a, a deep sense of inner peace mm. and like a deep sense of like belonging. Um, some people have described like different types of experiences that they have talking to like a elder spiritual being or something that you know. For me, it was like this in person made of light. You know, kind of looked like a a tool parabola type of like goddess type shit. Some Alex Gray type shit. You've tried ayahuasca? No, but when I was really high off DMT, this is what I saw. And same kind of thing. DMT is just a prolonged experience. So I was fucking tripping my ass off. Just like, whoa, I'm talking to this person. And they didn't say anything. But what they didn't say and what I still understood, what I received in their communication, it didn't involve a mouth moving or talking. It was like, I approve in a way. And they said like, you know, they did this kind of like thing, you know, where they're like, you're good. And that's basically what they said. I was, you know, because you have so much angst in your life. Like, am I going to make it? Am I a good person? Am I a bad person? Am I, what's this life all about? Is it okay? Is it not okay? Am I okay? And he was just like, she was just like, you're good. You know, your goals, you're good. Your life, you're good. So I just felt that. And to me, it was like if your neighbor's house is life after death and you're on a trampoline and you're jumping up, kind of peek over and see what death is like. See what it's like to not exist in this body for a second, to live astrally as a being of another dimensional plane. You know, so that's what it kind of felt like for that brief 10 minutes. And then the five minute cool down after I was feeling like. That was fucking intense, man. Wow. 